I'm Scott Elmore. It is the 22nd of May, 2023. This is my vlog of daily life living in Nicaragua. And today we're out in Playa El Transito on the south side of Leon. And we're gonna show you the beach right after the bump. The wind is something awful out here today, so I'm doing my best to make it that you can hear me. We are out in El Transito. This is one of the most famous surf beaches in all of Nicaragua, possibly number one. It is a big, beautiful beach, but there's not a lot of infrastructure here. The road leading into town is atrocious. Uh, we're gonna show some of that in a little bit, but here we go. On the south side of the beach, we have this kind of mountain, La Colina, uh, rising out of the water, and you can see the surf just pounding into the rocks out there. Uh, and really sorry for the wind noise, there's just nothing I can do. This is a popular beach, but it is very hard to get to. So you mostly get surfers and people who are backpacking. That is the that is the main crowd here. There's no resorts. There's no, as far as I know, uh, fancy restaurants, very few, uh, sorry, fancy hotels, very few restaurants. There is infrastructure here, but it is not large by and large it is it is relatively small infrastructure it is uh still an active fishing village as you can see there are fishing boats everywhere uh so you're going to you're gonna have a very different feel than many of the other beaches uh that we've been to this is not like Ponaloya, uh not like las Benitas, not like uh, uh salinas grandes where we were recently this is primarily a uh, fishing village and surf community with a small amount of general tourism, so it makes for a very different vibe. Uh, but this is world famous for its surfing, and it does have a lot of like surfing competitions and such take place here. And so it's uh, it's a pretty cool destination. And this beach is huge. This is a giant expanse of sand and a lot of beautiful water and very rough water. You can see why surfing is popular here with the amount of, of just activity in the water. Uh, right now there's no one surfing. It's probably not a good time. Um, I'm not an expert in surfing, so I can't really say. But this is uh, this is where a lot of the surfers from Las Bonitas come down when they're going to do uh, competitions or anything like that. Um, this is a, a very popular spot. A lot of times nationals is held here. So we're going to show a little bit of town. Um, it's it's a pretty small village. Uh, and one negative here is this is one of the few places in the country uh, internally that is listed as, as having some um, need for precautions because of crime, along with San Juan del Sur and Granada, and of course Managua and the Mosquito Coast. Uh, when we talk about how most of Nicaragua is incredibly safe, that's very, very true. And even here, it's not dangerous, but it's much more dangerous than other parts of Nicaragua. So it's just something to be wary of that uh, you can easily get lulled into a false sense of security being in Leon or some of the other beaches. And then you come to some, there are some locations where you're just going to go back to more normal levels of crime. At no point does Nicaragua get dangerous, but it, it you know, there are places where you need to exercise some amount of caution and this is one of them. All right, we're here in downtown El Transito. This is basically the middle of town, uh, which kind of gives you a feel for what it's like here. You got long, dusty roads going off in every direction. We're just a little bit off the beach, and hopefully the audio here is not a problem. There's a lot of loud music playing, even though there's not too many people around. This is the road that we just came in on. You can see that they built a nice new boulevard up top, but it's dirt road up until that, and then it's dirt road after that, and then this is the other way through town here. But what you can see here is this beautiful new Transito sign on the side of this building as you come into town and they're literally painting it as we get here so effort is being put in and there's some beautiful murals over on the side which we're gonna go show all right all murals that they're working on repairing here some beautiful work a little view here as we just look past the mural and uh, through just a tiny bit of El Transito this is a cute village I have to give it it's cuter than uh, you might get at first view but it certainly still feels like a Nicaraguan beach village from many years ago. It has not updated 
the way that other things have, but it does have a lot of new stuff going on, and we were surprised by the number of bars, for example, they were playing loud music, but there weren't very many people there. So once we did a pretty quick cursory view, we headed back to the car and got on the road. I'm gonna show a little bit of the drive out of town here so you can see what it's like on the main road. This is what it looked like coming into town and this is the one running along the beach. Now this is important to note that a lot of the beaches, if you're looking at the map, you're gonna see a number of beach names just north of El Transito listed on the map and you'll be like, where are they? They're actually behind this fence on the left uh, and it's private access and while you could in theory find the beaches from the water, you cannot get to them from the road. So you're kind of out of luck there unless you're hiking it on foot. The road does improve here and you come down and suddenly there's going to be a security gate and this is where our real adventure begins. This is Playa El Ver Valero and <laughs> it's very hard to say and there's a brand new resort that we just went past on the left that's being built currently. It's giant very far along and we, we came in and we couldn't believe it. We parked and we actually got taken in a uh, a golf cart to our restaurant like this is crazy we're like oh there's a restaurant here let's go check it out and they came and picked us up in a golf cart uh and took us to the in only a few feet away which was really crazy but this was this is none of this is what we were expecting to find in Nicaragua. This is the Triton restaurant. Uh, they advertise all over the area, um, even up at the Empalma on the main road. There's some advertising, which of course is needed because this is so far away from anything. All of this just blew our minds. We had no idea that Valero existed. This was a, an empty beach when I was here two years ago. All of this is brand new and there's tons of village streets that are in and paved and beautiful with no houses. Uh, they're just in the process of convincing people to start moving into the area. So we went into this giant restaurant on the beach um, and there were very few people there. It's all decorated for Mother's Day uh, in case you've forgotten that that's coming up in a few days here in Nicaragua on the 30th. And uh, so we just went in and decided to get some lunch to sit and have a view. Um, and uh, it, it, we're kind of in shock is, is the best way to put it. We know that these things exist in Nicaragua, but we had no idea that any had been built and exist in Leon. This is just extremely surprising and really well done. This is a modern uh, resort style restaurant and kind of beach day pass complex. You can see the new resort construction way off in the distance beyond the trees. There's quite a bit that's already done and open in in this portion around the, the, the restaurant. Um, and they also had a bunch of stuff on the beach, including bouncy houses and playgrounds and, and pools. Uh, they took some of the giant rocks that are out on the beach and actually put a big pool into them. Uh, we did not have a lot of time, so we just got lunch. We got a table and ordered some drinks, uh, sat and enjoyed the view, did a little bit of filming, and made some plans, checked our maps. Uh, it was our only real stop for food during the day, so we appreciated this a lot. But it was a gorgeous day for doing this, too. We had good sunlight, good waves. Uh, the, the ocean was really nice. There was a, a cargo ship sitting off on the horizon, uh, which is always enjoyable. It's one of the things I really love about being on the ocean is seeing the big ocean-going uh, vessels far out. Uh, I don't think you can make it out in this view, but it is out there uh, somewhere kind of on the left, I believe, even I can't see it, no, having been there. Uh, but these are really nice beaches along this whole stretch. There's the restaurant. After we ate, we had to get back on the road. We had more things we wanted to see, so we couldn't spend a lot of time here. Uh, it was also on the expensive side, so we didn't want to do a whole lot of things. But it would be really cool to get a tour of some of the houses uh, in this I don't know if complex is the right word. It's gated, but there's other areas like this where beaches are gated and they still have public access, but security is allowed to kind of control how people get in. And I'm not quite sure how that arrangement works, uh, but this is open to the public. If you want to go eat at the Triton, just drive down. You get free parking uh, right here in this big, easy parking lot. And this is going out, so you'll see that uh, that's the construction. And these are the, on the left, these roads go through the village. It's all empty, but this is where houses will be. That was the gate. This is the, the access road, all super paved. And from here on, we discovered that everything is paved. We had had all those dirt roads. 
We're continuing our tour down the beaches of Southern Leon and La Paz Centro. We are now at Miramar. We just left El Valero, which is located a little bit to the south of here, but still in the northern half of the loop. Uh, we're getting low sun at this point. We ended up spending a little bit of time at El Valero because, wow, that was interesting and different. Uh, now, Miramar is more of a traditional beach. We've got some absolutely beautiful homes and uh, restaurants behind me. This is a very low use beach. Like there's, there are some people out here, but it is not a ton. And sorry again for the wind. Like we're on the ocean, what do you want? Uh, but we do have a really beautiful, just large amount of sand here. This is a great spot to come. I can see some really great structures going way down on the beach. Actually, I wanna be able to point here. So I'm gonna see, do my best to be able to see this. It's really dark. But way down here, we've got a beautiful thing and then nice houses all along. And then these on the ridge here, wow. Some really nice looking stuff. It's not a ton, this is not a big community, but there is a village here. So it's still a little bit of a fishing village. It's a little bit of a real uh, Nicaraguan village, but with a fair amount of stuff. So this is, um, it feels like a lot more than El Transito. El Transito is a surfing village uh, and it, it has that surfer vibe. It does have a little bit of a real village once you get back away from the beach. Here at Miramar, there is a little bit of a village much closer to the beach and it does not feel like a surfer beach. It feels more like a combination of Nicaraguans and Extranjeros coming together and starting to develop the beach a little bit. This one does have a bit of a reputation uh, for being a beach to go to around the country. So uh, it, does, it does get a little bit of traffic and we have Porto Sandino uh, right down there. This is the area at Miramar where the fuel tankers come into the country. Uh, so there's actually a giant fuel depot and offloading facility nearby. Uh, so the big tanker ships uh, can come in from the ocean. Uh, and then this is where pretty much all the fuel in the country uh, comes through this port. So a little bit interesting there. We're gonna head back to the car. We did a 360 out here on the beach. The sun is getting low and looking gorgeous. Actually, I gotta turn this around and just, this is what it looks like right now as the sun is coming down. It's not super low, but it looks fantastic. I hope it turns out as well in the video as it does standing here. That is some gorgeous light. This is a nice beach, I like this. And between here and Valero, there's all nicely paved roads. When I did this uh, two years ago, this was all impossible to pass dirt roads. It was awful. But now that we're here, there, there's definitely improvements. We're about to head on to Porto Sandino and see what things are like in that direction. But uh, this is Marcella out here on the beach. I don't even know if she knows we're recording her. She's kind of hiding, but uh down at el transito it is all really rough roads and all the beaches immediately north of el transito remain completely private not public but starting at valero and here at miramar and porto sandino these are public beaches so hopefully they've they've improved the roads because access to it was absolutely atrocious in the past so we're gonna head on in just a few minutes and explore a little bit more but we're having a good time uh, checking out all the beaches here and seeing what this Southern Loop has to offer. Because it has been a while since I've been here and uh, Marcella's never been here, Camille has never been here. Uh, so it's a nice chance to see uh, an entire section of the country that often gets overlooked because these beaches are just not well known to the outsiders. I do have to mention, speaking of, at El Valero, just down the beach there, a few miles, uh, we noticed that while it was modern and it feels like an extra Enhero enclave, Everyone spoke Spanish and we did not see a single foreigner in the place. It is all Nicaraguans that are currently there today. I mean, that doesn't mean much demographically in, in, the, in the grander sense, but uh, the whole place is decorated for Nicaraguan's mother, Nicaraguan Mother's Day, which is coming up in a few days. And, um, and, and it really gave a feel that this is an upscale resort living, like it's not a resort, right? It's, it's a resort living uh, enclave but not for foreigners, for Nicaraguans. And that's exciting to see the country coming up that Nicaraguans are having those opportunities to not just have that happen here and there, but have an entire facilities, entire villages built just for that. That's, uh, that's really cool. So we were really pleasantly surprised by that entire uh, situation. And um, we're gonna head on to Porto Sandino and see what we find there. 
It has been a full day of filming and driving. We've gotten a ton of drive warp content. We've gotten a ton of Nicaragua 360 content. And here on the vlog, we've managed to visit a number of different places. It's been a really cool day. I'm really glad we did this. I've always wanted to do this loop again. I did it uh, in 2021 with, with Melvin and from uh, Tuwani Drinks and Food, also on YouTube. Uh, we did it, but we did it in a mad rush and did it to see the different beaches. And at the time, the roads were really, really rough. Now, if you watch uh, the stuff on, on getting to El Transito, or if you watch uh, our getting to Salinas Grandes from a few days ago, those, uh, that road was so terrible. You, you, can't, you don't want to do that on a normal basis. You can only do it once in a while. Uh, but they've uh, they've changed the, the roads at Puerto Sandino, which we're about to drive the rest of, so we don't know all of it yet. And a whole bunch of the beaches, Miramar, Puerto Sandino, and the, uh, Valero, all co connect to each other on beautiful new roads now. So coming down here is a completely different experience than it was two years ago. I gotta turn the camera around because this sunset is fantastic. I just walked into this. Look at that sunset. My gosh. It is so bright yellow here. I know the camera is not going to pick it up the same as I'm seeing it. It is so intense. It is absolutely gorgeous. There is pretty much no one here. There's a couple cars. There's a tuk-tuk leaving. We got some pelicans flying over. You can see them there coming over the sun. Listen to those waves on the Pacific. My gosh, what a great way to end the day of this exploration of the beaches. Maybe let's see, I don't know how much I want to go down. This is, so we're actually at, this is called Playa Azul. So the beach is Playa Azul, but this is Porto Sandino. So part of what's interesting here, Porto Sandino is the major settlement of this loop road. And it's a good sized village. It has a number of bars. I don't know that it has any hotels or anything. I haven't seen any. It might, uh, but it's a good sized settlement. And then uh, Miramar is not far away, just down here, heading south. And uh, it's a real village, not very big, doesn't have very much, but it does have some hotels and stuff for the beach. Its beach is way bigger. This is nothing on the beach, absolutely nothing. But we're really close to Porto Sandino, which is a really big settlement. Then south of Miramar is Valero, which was absolutely nothing last time we were here and is now a giant like resort complex with all this stuff that we showed you, like so cool. Uh, and then there's a huge gap of privately held stuff. You can't get to the beaches. There's, there's, they like have names, but there's no way for you to get to them. It's fences along, it says private property and everything. So there's some beautiful big gates. Somebody with money owns a bunch of that, but it's private. And then you get to El Transito. And even though El Transito is the most famous portion, of this beach and it's what everyone's known for okay the silhouette i really hope that if i wish i had a telephoto lens to get that gorgeous silhouette walking through the sun the sunset right there and uh, uh Tra el transito is the most well known because they are the big surfer beach uh, but they're also by far the least developed of all of these and they're the ones without the road so the road coming from the main highway down to el transito is terrible and the road from el transito to el vivero is terrible that's not el valero is terrible um uh, so it's really isolated on these rough dirt roads there's not a lot of people coming and going the rest of these totally different i can't believe now you can just come and go from these places if you live in leone you want to come to any of these it's easy we're going to drive the road back so we're going to see exactly what it's like getting from uh sandino back to the to the highway to the empalma but it's looking from what we saw it looks like it's going to be beautiful so this has been really cool. Um, I expect a lot of questions down there. Get down, ask me what you want to know. Uh, hopefully you learned something from this. I know I did. It's been two years since I've been here and what I've learned is everything changes really fast. In Nicaragua, which I knew, but this is, this is surprising. They caught me. Uh, I'm, I'll be glad to come back now that the roads are passable. I'm not going to El Transito on a whim. The rest of these, anytime, I could just drive down and enjoy these beaches. That's really cool. Uh, we never do that because um, uh, Salinas Grandes has nothing to offer and is so hard to get to. Like, we're just not going to do that. El Transito, the same thing. Ponoloya and Las Pinitas we use all the time because we, we just go. It's so easy. And Corinto is, is decently far, but is nice and easy. If Miramar and Sandino and Valero are so easy. This is fantastic. This completely opens up more experiences uh, that we can just do any day, like restaurants we can just go to when we feel like it, 
and uh, beaches to hang out on, bars to go hang out on. Like we need variety, even though we, we live on the beach and can go to the beach anytime, once in a while you want to go to a different beach, right? Uh, so this, this really ups the Leon game, I gotta say. And these are far enough south that if you're coming from Managua, these, these are usable for you. They're pretty far away, but they're definitely usable. Uh, and if you live in like La Paz Centro, they're right here. So that's why these are kind of considered La Paz Centro beaches, because their connection, the Empalma at Ipatha, I think that's right, is uh, really close to, El pa to La, La Paz Centro. So these are kind of considered El uh, La, um, La Paz Centro beaches, even though they're physically closer to Nagarote, they don't have a road going there. But they're minutes outside of La Paz Centro. Uh, so a really interesting beach area. Um, and of course, if you were interested, you watch my La Paz Centro, a few of you are like, I actually would kind of like that city. That looks pretty cool. If that's you, this could be a thing you want to know about that you could live in La Paz Centro, have that quiet, really low cost lifestyle and have beaches that you don't have to live at. You don't have to deal with like living on the beach <laughs> like it's a chore. Um, but if it's, you know, they're, they're, it's a different lifestyle. If you don't want to live all the way out at the beach and you want to live in a city, you could live in that city and have these beaches be really close and easy for when you just get that, you know, I, I want to sit and watch the sunset vibe. Yeah, just come down here, enjoy any one of them, whether you want to do, definitely here at Sandino, it is the really like low cost rustic beach and Miramar is the step up, like there's some surfing and some, some nice restaurants and some cheap restaurants and like people hanging out. And then Valero is like, whoa, whoa whoa <laughs> uh so you have all those just one right after another with really easy connecting roads this is fantastic um loving loving what's going on here and can't wait till they pave all the way to el transito because it is going to it's going to transform in in an, in an instant when they do that and we've been saying that for two years these prove it you can see valero the entire thing is proof you put in a road it's it's going to change you build it they will come when it comes to the beach and of course all of these we expect to be connected by the new pacific coast highway which of course that's what's going in here that this is a part of that that's being built up so watch the drive warp and see a whole bunch of just what it's like around here and definitely check out nicaragua 360 and get these long views where you can see all around the beaches and get a feel for what it's like thanks for joining me like and subscribe if you want to support the channel buy me a coffee at buymecoffee.com if you want help in relocation and want to talk about houses you want to just get on the phone or get a tour whatever info at relocate nicaragua.com as always ask your questions get in the comments say hello share on social media tell your friends and i will see all of you tomorrow.